Hello and welcome to Commercial Failure. Well, I finally found it. I've been looking for this thing for years. I hope it still works. Technology! As parents, we want computers to help our kids thrive. Because our time is over and electricity is confusing for us. But the truth is, people are using computers to expose our kids to the worst junk imaginable. Oh, why can't we go back to the times before computers, when offensive content was only viewable on TV, and movies, and magazines, and books, and newspapers, and cave paintings, and dirty jokes you hear on the playground. We were having fun online and then all of a sudden this really offensive webpage popped up. All of a sudden, yeah, right. No mom, I swear, this computer just randomly typed in www.lemonparty.com all on its own. Admit it, you just didn't want her seeing that music video you made that went viral. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get I'm sorry, I just love this shot. I've seen it floating around as a reaction gif and it's just perfect. Well now you can protect your kids with a big kid secure drive. Just as soon as we figure out which of us is the mother and which is the daughter. Anyway, this is the big kid secure drive. Are you tired of that evil intermonet corrupting your kids' minds with ideas contrary to your own? It provides a secure computing environment where they can learn and grow safely. I don't think it's a coincidence that such a conservative, fear-mongering product advertises with American flags placed conveniently in the background of the shot. How much you want to bet it was created by some blonde-haired, blue-eyed wasp who doesn't believe in birth control? I created the Big Kid Secure Drive to give my kids the same secure computer protection that I have at the office. It is guaranteed in all five original colonies. If you think standard software filters will protect your kids, think again. They're hard to set up and easily hacked. If you think I'm not going to parody this shot, think again. It's overly dramatic and easily mocked. But the Big Kid Secure Drive is more than a filter. It's a way to prevent your children from seeing anything that goes against your narrow worldview and that might actually challenge them to think for themselves. Goodness knows we can't have that. It blocks out inappropriate websites, spyware and viruses, and even dangerous ads, banners, and pop-ups. It's basically a standalone Linux distribution that boots directly from the drive and comes loaded with a bunch of open source software and games. You can make this yourself with a $10 USB stick and a little computer knowledge. The protection settings let me control which websites my kids see. Then why are you still hovering over her? Best of all, there's no software to install. Look, I will do anything to protect my kids online. Except install software on my computer. I'm not going that far. Just plug the drive into any PC with a USB port, reboot, and it's ready to go. Of course, we all know just how impossible it is to simply unplug a USB stick. I mean, you have to click on eject device and everything. It's a whole ordeal. Your kids will love the full suite of incredible software. I was curious exactly what sort of software it came with, so I checked the website. Apparently, it also comes with such great features as profanity masking, email alerts, and proxy filtering. And there's something really kind of creepy about the smiling kid on the banner. Disregarding the fact that it seems to be coming from his stomach, his quote looks like the kind of thing you'd see on a dating site for Nambla. My parents let me use the computer alone! Save A-plus school projects right to the drive. But only the A-plus ones. If it's an A or less, it gets deleted and it's two days in the chokey. He probably should have used Justify instead of Left Align. That would have given him the extra credit point. And if they use your computer, good news. The Big Kid Secure Drive keeps their work separate from yours, so they can't mess up your files. Well, when you use such technical terms as mess up, I can only assume you know exactly what you're talking about. Jeez, you really can't afford a laptop for your preteen daughter? I guess you're too busy spending money on your new high-tech home theater system with the flashing LEDs. I love it because it's safe. I love it because it's fun. I love it because it lets technology raise my kids so I don't have to. Test it out. If you're happy with it, keep it for a one-time payment of just $39.95. That's less than the price of a video game. <laughs> Hang on a second. Let me see what's on Humble Bundle right now. Ooh, Goat Simulator for a dollar. This is a charming little product. It seems to exist in a world where parents are more computer literate than their children. So, you know, not this one. I get that it comes from a place of concern, you want to keep kids safe, whatever, but the whole existence of such a device baffles me. It assumes the parents are too stupid or cheap to use other internet protection software, but smart enough to know more about the computer than their kids. And it assumes you don't trust the kids to let them use the computer unsupervised, but enough to not simply unplug the stick anyway. Being able to determine whether or not something on the internet can be trusted is a skill everybody should learn. Content filters can have their place if there's a legitimate concern for safety or productivity, but it's not a one-step solution. You need to be the one that regulates what your kids do on the computer, not technology. Aw, oh, I 
up broke. This product is just a lazy way to think you're in control. The real solution here is to talk with your kids seriously about internet safety so they can be well informed. You should know whether or not your kids can be trusted to use the computer by themselves. If they're so young or undisciplined that you can't leave them alone for 20 minutes without them getting into trouble, then there's probably a bigger problem than some people from 4chan linking shock sites. This is TZ, putting products in their place for you. If you have a commercial failure you'd like to see, send a message to commercial failure at testzero.net. Commercial failure is produced and hosted by Doug Hancocks. All work is copyright their respective owners and protected under fair use. Call now! Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic Guy. Remember it so you don't have- Make America great again. Tired of food falling off your fork? 